I would like to yield, Mr. Chairman, two minutes to the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Pittenger. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your tremendous leadership in this important legislation. Thank you for also for yielding me this time. Tonight, I'm reminded of Thomas Jefferson, who once said, experience has shown that even under the best forms of government, those entrusted with power have in time and by slow operations perverted it. Mr. Chairman, we have heard repeatedly from our leader, our president, that he said he is not king, he is not emperor, and that his powers as president are restricted because his actions speak louder than words. Republicans are committed to holding the president accountable for his overreaching executive actions. We have achieved remarkable success in this country because we are a nation governed by the rule of law, not by the decrees of monarchs. As recent events around the world have tragically reminded us, there are those who are still committed to destroying our way of life. The Homeland Security Appropriations Bill we are debating tonight supports the needs of the brave men and women who protect us each day and meets the requirements to keep us safe. The amendments accompanying this legislation ensure we continue to be a nation governed by laws and prevents any funds from being used to implement the presence and constitutional decrees of amnesty while it prevents further implementation of DACA, which led to the crisis at the border last summer. I urge all of my colleagues to join me in supporting this legislation to protect our great nation and supporting the amendments to protect the rule of law. Thank you, and I